I'm what some people might call a people pleaser. I know that term has gotten some negative stigma in recent years because people might think you're a pushover or somebody could take advantage of you. But to me, it simply means that you love to help people. And to me, helping people is one of the most simplest and powerful ways that you could make the world a better place. At the end of 2023, I was really happy to be celebrating a lot of achievements with the people around me who had hit their goals. And I was glad to even be a part of helping some of them reach those goals. But as I was reflecting on my goals, I realized that I fell short in a number of areas. So what I realized for this year is not just that I don't want to help others anymore. I think it's an important part of who you are and the world needs people who likes to help people. But I think it's important to find a balance where I prioritize my goals and I can still help others as well. So I came up with five guidelines for myself and others who may struggle with the same challenges to ensure that as much as we help people, we also help ourselves. And these five guidelines are number one, prioritize your goals. I always try to write down my goals and focus on them, but when somebody needs help or something, or I want to help them figure it out. This year, I think it's important to prioritize my goals by scheduling um, the time, not just scheduling the time to work on the goals, but actually working on it as one of the first things in the morning. So every morning, the plan thus far is to wake up at 4 a.m. and spend some time whether it be half an hour, hour, doing something towards a major goal that I'm working towards. Number two, seek support and accountability. I think many times when I have been trying to work on my goals by myself, it's an internal conversation with myself about what is more important. And many times, um, there was nobody to keep me accountable besides myself. So I have a group, I have two groups of people who are really trying to, who are keeping me accountable to the goals that I set, especially for content creation. And um, just knowing that somebody is looking to see if you are doing what you said, said you're going to do, um, kind of brings that additional accountability and responsibility to myself to complete those goals. Number three, set boundaries. I think where people pleasing gets a bad rap is when boundaries aren't set and you help people um, at your own expense. So it's important to know where or when um, you have to say no and you could still care about the person, you could still want the best for them, but if it comes at your own expense, you really need to know when to say no. So setting those boundaries is really important. Number four, be mindful. Take moments to reflect on your day, week, month, and see if you are really focusing on your goals. Um, as somebody who is, I would say, always active, always busy, doing things for others and for myself at times, you can lose track of what it is or what are your main goals. So just doing those regular check-ins could pull yourself back and help you re-strategize or refocus back on what your goals really are. And last but not least, celebrate small wins. There is some dopamine that comes with helping others. Seeing others win makes you feel good. And I feel like when you achieve your own goals, there's nobody clapping for you. 
at the same time you know maybe with accountability people could recognize it but you also have to recognize yourself and do something small whether it be doing the first youtube video for the year um, treat yourself do something nice for yourself it doesn't have to be too big but at least you'll have something to look forward to after achieving those goals all right so ironically i actually want to help even more people this year but i can only do so if i chase after my goals and create something that could help people on a larger scale or a wider scale so if this is something you're interested in if you have similar challenges if you just want to follow the journey like the video subscribe to the channel i'll be posting videos at least once a month and i look forward to talking to you in the next one all right see you next time